Well, uh, just about five minutes ago, uh, X added this into the game. Uh, it is a roller, right? Obvious, probably didn't need to say that. Uh, currently it has no on-off. Uh, this is in the beta branch if you're curious, if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, literally though, just five minutes ago he put this out and then I think he went to bed. So, it's going to have problems. Um, some people are already discovering some things. Uh, one thing, obvious, is the paint, which not a big deal because it's not something that important. Um, there's a few little bugs we found with it so far. Uh, none that are really operational though. So, yeah. Um, you cannot turn it off. That's the one thing I, I've kind of picked up on so far. Is It would be kind of nice if it had an on-off thing. Uh, so you don't destroy any terrain you didn't want to. So you can see... Let's get in close here. You can see what it's doing here. I've driven over a lot of this. I thought I was recording earlier and I talked to myself for like 10 minutes and I ended up not re being recording. So if we just drive over this hump here, you can see it's kind of, it's pushing it down. Uh, this is definitely going to be a tool where you got to take your time. Uh, it's not going to do it in one hit. <coughs> hit. It's not going to do it in one pass. Um, so you're going to have to go back and forth quite a bit. You could probably just kind of, I'm just kind of driving crazy all over the place right now. But, uh... You could probably get a nice little grid going and just go back and forth and keep it clean. But I, at least with this, because I kind of pre-flattened this uh, with the grader and, you know, all the other equipment I have, uh, it's it's holding up pretty well. Uh, we'll have to do some testing, too, on a big humpy area to see, like, what it really does. Like, if we take it off-road to see if we can beat down a road with it or not. So... I don't know, we'll see what, what this does here. Um, we're at a point where the game will probably start needing balancing. Well, I mean, it's constantly getting adjustments, right? But when you add something like a grader, but then you also add something like a roller, they're kind of two in the same thing. So it's it's kind of at a point where, like, do we want both? Do we need to balance them out so there's a reason to use one over the other, you know? So that's something I think about. I don't know if anybody else thinks about that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to run this around here for a little bit. I'm just going to see what it does. Um, I'm curious to see if it's going to leave big dips and divots anywhere like some tools do that we have, kind of like the hand smoothing tool. It has a tendency to do that. So I'm going to run this around here for a while. I, I'm going to stay away from that corner over there just so we kind of have a, a constant as to that's probably the best I could hand smooth and smooth with the grater so like we're gonna draw a line like like right here and then I'm not gonna go past this line just so we have a, a constant variable and we'll even go up this hill so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to a time lapse here and I'm just gonna run this back and forth for a while and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys uh, how we're how we're looking Well, um, it's kind of hard to tell, guys. Now, obviously, this is early, right? Literally, it early as in, like, you just, like, put it together and yeeted it in the game. Um, it's not as flat as it was when I did it, but the way I did it was also a lot more tedious. I've just been driving around. Now, that being said, um... It's still pushing ground down in places, but I think it's created these smooth humps that it, it no longer wants to deform, is what it seems like. Like, it, it, it's decided that what I'm driving over is smooth. Now, it I don't know, my area wasn't perfect before how I had it. But it was flat. Now this is smooth, but it's not flat, as you can see here. Um, and it, it dropped it down. This is like a good reference because I had it was basically up to this lip, which is kind of why I haven't saved because I'm probably not gonna save this. But 
as you can see it it, it dropped it down you know however much that is uh it did okay like on the ramp i guess if you're not worried about it being like glass smooth flat you know it's smooth it's just not flat that's the that's the conclusion but you know is it supposed to be flat you know that's the thing so i don't know i, I haven't taken it down these roads yet i think we could do that um hmm I think it'll have its place. I think it'll be good for doing your roads and stuff. I think if you want a perfectly flat area, this probably isn't going to be the tool for it. Yet. Anyways, now see, this is going to be a problem right here. This is going to frick up this little ramp I built. Yeah, if I, if I make another hit over that, it's going to jack it up. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's take her over here. It's going to jack this ramp up. Yeah. What do you do? Um, I don't know. We'll see. See what she's doing on this hump here. Probably just smoothing it out. Not going to not going to change the brake over or anything. I mean, I don't know. Um, you do have to watch when you get close to the edge. Uh, if you have like a 90 degree wall, it'll start to round it out. So, try and avoid that. Yeah, this is going to mess up all the little steps and jumps. But it will pull terrain up, though. That is something to note. A little bit, not very much. See that? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a whole thing there. And this is why I'm not saving, because of stuff like this. I'm going to screenshot that really quick. Okay. So, I mean, it, realistically, it's probably doing what it's supposed to right there, right? But... Um, I think that's something I'd like to see in the game is when you're moving dirt, whether it's with a roller or with a loader or with a dozer, that it not bury things. Um, it, if it, the dirt would not clip through your building blocks, if it would just wrap around it, come up to it and go flush, I don't know how hard, <laughs> I don't know how hard that would be to code. Uh, I can't imagine it would be easy but I don't, I don't know my brain makes it seem like it might not be hard okay I'm not gonna well okay we're not saving anyway so we're gonna just try this so this is probably gonna peel dirt up through the ground maybe depending on how close the dirt is underneath right and then this is probably gonna Do this, okay. So this will be our extensive smoothing area where we're gonna try this. So let's like run into let's come over here and run into this where it's like really jagged and it's like a straight. Okay, so what basically what I think this is doing, guys, is this is just a machine that does what the smoothing tool did, right? That's uh, that's kind of the gist of what we're at which is good I think I think I would rather have a machine doing it though having the hand tool is nice for doing like your walls or your ceiling or something you can't really get to Yeah, did you see how much it pulled that up right there? There's a basically a hole, and it just whoosh, sucked it up. So, I mean, it's doing its job. Um, I think me expecting it to make a flat area is expecting too much, because that's not what it does. It's not like a... 
like the graders more of your your flat area tool right oh boy it's it's definitely got the get up and go that's for sure how much of this can I like pretty good amount of that hump you can you can get rid of but here's like some extreme off-roading so I think this would be good for like dirt trail making uh, if you're not wanting to cut a road with the dozer I think this would be a good substitute because um, it, it it seems to be able to just drive over any terrain Back and forth right here. So, I mean, this is, you know, like if, if I was digging back here and I needed the truck back here, uh, I think this would be a good thing to use just to make that road for the truck. Because um, that can be really frustrating sometimes trying to drive a truck over all this humpy messiness. So this is something you could take like a couple swipes with really quick and then get a nice straightened out section so um, okay there's some other things in this patch uh, I'm gonna have to see if there are patch notes I'm not sure if there was or not um, he fixed some things so I'm gonna reset really quick uh, I'm just gonna exit the lobby and then come back and none of this will have ever happened I won't even have bought this thing yet so we're gonna do that and we're gonna we're gonna check out some other uh, fixes he, he did um, first thing we're gonna do, uh, we need to turn the system on. Let's go back to camp. Okay, on, on, on. On, on, on. On, on, on. Okay. And then we're gonna go to our 500 loader and put this thing in reverse. And we'll just come up here and get a scoop because this is all blasted material up here. Um, I do want to get some stone put in though. Really? We're full? <laughs> okay. Um, no, I didn't move the excavator far enough. Well, maybe I did. Okay, so supposedly now when we dump dirt into here... Ah, okay, so we did what the hopper, not the hopper, um, the sorter does, and it absorbs all of the material you put into it. So what that should do is that should stop the lag we were having. Like, we were having some serious lag, right? Like, I, I was at the point where I was just deleting material. So now we can actually process this material instead of just pitching it. We don't have to worry about it um, going away. Now one other thing I would like to do is we're going to fill up the truck um, and I want to get a good compound of stuff in it. Uh, I want to try to get all this material. Uh, by all this material I basically just mean the the blasted rock and then I want to throw some normal stone in it too. Uh, I want to see how that's going to react. Um, I don't know if that was something he addressed or not since I still haven't looked at the notes. Uh, stone going through the plant does not actually process oh, come on big guy you can do it you can do it there we go uh, I also don't know he talked about eventually rebalancing all the equipment because right now a 200 loader can carry the same amount as a 501 loader So, you know, that's something you could think about, too. If you're working in a confined space um, and this big guy is just kind of a hassle, uh, that's actually what I did when I cut out this hallway over here, hallway ramp, uh, the recessed ramp. I bought the 200 to do that because it doesn't need the head clearance and it needs less of a turn radius. 
Uh, the only downside is that it doesn't reach into the back of stuff like this one does. Okay, so you can see we got... Ooh, boy, it takes a lot longer to fill now. I wonder... Um, we haven't got our payout yet, I don't think. Yeah, we haven't got our payout yet, so it's still processing. Um, we just put one bucket of this into the hopper. So we're going to see what that gives us. Um, my plant is or should be a 100% return rate too. Um, because if there's any dirt that got cut out in the sorter, uh, it would go right back into the cell point is the way I have it set up just so I don't have to deal with any dirt. So we should get a one to one return ratio when that happens. Okay, so what is this bucket? Like three or four? I wasn't paying attention. And then we got to see what happens um, if we try to overfill it. Okay, so I think it does the same thing. Just gonna get one more scoop to check. Yep, okay, so it goes into oblivion like it did before. Aha! Ten tons. Okay. Uh, we'll test that again. Okay, so... Not knowing the capacity of this thing uh, is gonna... I don't know, maybe I'll look in the clip and I'll see how many how many buckets I just put in there. Assuming they were full, right? Um, should be like 60 or 70. Alright, I'm gonna drive this thing up to the top there. Uh, I'm gonna dump this down and then I'm gonna get our numbers for us and see what happens. That took a good minute. Um, the first round, I'll do more testing. But on this first round, the truck gave us the 10 ton load, and or sorry, not the truck. The this is the loader, the 501 loader gave us 10.1 tons, and then the uh, the truck here gave us about 32. So I'm not sure how that adds up. Uh, you know, I dumped however many five or six loader arms into the truck. So that doesn't quite add up, but I'm going to have to do some more testing just to see. Uh, that could have been inconsistent on that load. Uh, I might not have had full arms. Excuse my phone going off. Um, so we'll have to do some playing with it. I'll do more testing uh, off cam here and, and see what conclusion we come to. Alright guys, um, I forgot to tune back in after I checked the weight thing. Um, there is a team of people in the Discord uh, that are just like community members, they're not developers or anything. They are actually gonna, they do thorough testing on the changes with the capacities and stuff like that. So um, if I get information from them, I'll pass it along to you guys. For those of you that don't see that stuff in the Discord. Um, but from what little testing I did, got about 10 from the loader, 10 tons. And then from the truck load I had, it gave like 30, uh, 30 or 40, I can't remember. But it's a little off. It doesn't seem quite right. Probably just needs more adjusting. But uh, I did this really quick. Uh, by really quick, I mean it took a while. Um, that's okay. So this is our halfway point it doesn't seem like it i don't know it i guess it's probably it should be right i count it i'll count again before i start going crazy so, so this is our other halfway point so i suppose it's probably right it just doesn't look right because it's not cut down flat but anyways um so we're going to cut our first ramp down. I have gone over this a million and a half times, I know. But for anybody new or if you forgot or you didn't hear me or whatever. Anyways, uh, we're going to cut from that point down. 
and we're going to bring it down to here so we have our road in and out and then we're going to start cutting this whole section down to that point down there where that floor piece is and uh while we're at it we'll cut out the other we'll cut out the main flat horizontal deck like this one and then once we get this all cut down to that level um <laughs> we'll start this next section going down so it'll be just like this one but 18 blocks down so yeah it's gonna take I don't know how long it's gonna take honestly guys uh, I think it just depends on my methods I can kinda show you how I'm doing this we got the little homie back the little 200 cause he fits uh, right here and then we just do this and we'll give it a little bit of this a little bit of downwards and we back out and we put it in reverse uh, I just gotta get the groove for it so I'm not running into the corner it, it'll go smoother once we get to that point I'll probably have to move some stuff around so I have plenty of room here we come over here and we just do this and we dump it in the little homie can't reach very well but that's okay and we dump it like that and we fold ourselves back up and we swing around and we go back and we do it again and uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the next I don't know two three hours probably <laughs> till I get that road chopped down. Uh, maybe I'll time lapse it. We'll see. But we have this nice little guide here to help us get down there, and we'll kind of just get it close, and then we'll come back with the dozer and the grader and all that stuff, and actually uh, actually like make it nice and smooth and stuff and open it up the first one took a lot longer um, when I did that one it took a while but I think I kind of have my method figured out now so I don't think it'll be as bad uh, and we've got the side dug out so we have a good reference and all that so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start chipping away at that but you're not gonna see that in this episode because this episode's getting long because I spent a lot of time rambling and playing with the new uh, with the new roller so you will get to see that excitement in the next one and uh, yeah leave you guys with some anticipation and somewhat of a cliffhanger even though you know it's really a cliffhanger because it's just a dirt moving cliffhanger anyways yeah okay well uh, I will see you guys in the next one uh, yep yeah we'll see you in the next one when I when I get some dirt moved <laughs>